the big decision about the Safety Act. A judge rules a controversial part of the measure is unconstitutional. Our Gaynor Hall joining us with reaction to that decision and to explain more. Gaynor. Yeah, Pat and Jewel, Republican leaders are applauding this decision that came out of Kankakee County ruling the provision of the Safety Act that eliminates cash bail unconstitutional, while the Illinois Attorney General will appeal to the state Supreme Court. Illinois on January 1, 2023 will make history, civil rights history. That was early this month after lawmakers approved several changes to clarify the portion of the Safety Act that eliminates cash bail. But in a ruling released late last night, a Kankakee County judge said the appropriateness of bail rests with the authority of the court and may not be determined by legislative fiat. Republican leaders say it's what they've been saying all along. Last night's decision is a victory for the citizens of Illinois and specifically victims of crime and the men and women of law enforcement. The governor released a statement saying in part, we cannot and should not defend a system that fails to keep people safe by allowing those who are a threat to their community the ability to simply buy their way out of jail. The ruling is binding only in a limited number of judicial circuits in Illinois that were covered under 64 combined lawsuits and does not include Cook County. Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul said most of the Safety Act's provisions have been in effect for more than a year. And regardless of the decision, all parts of the Safety Act, including the pretrial release portions addressed in the court's decision, will go into effect January 1st. Yes, Republicans yes. want implementation delayed statewide. We are here now with potential chaos uh, that may ensue beginning January 1. We will have counties throughout the state which will have a cash bail system and counties throughout the state which will potentially not have the cash bail system or it will be eliminated. It is unclear at this point just how quickly the Illinois Supreme Court will hear the state's appeal. The ACLU of Illinois also responding to this, releasing a statement saying they are confident money bond ultimately will be eliminated across the entire state. Reporting live from the newsroom, Gaynor Hall, WGN News. All right, thanks so much, Gaynor.